Dede TV KPM Dede TV KPM Regenerate International Science and Engineering Fair ISAF merupakan pertandingan reka cipta dan inovasi terbesar dunia yang memaparkan projek sains, teknologi dan kejuruteraan berasaskan inquiry oleh murid sekolah menengah dan para universiti dari seluruh dunia. Para finalis telah melalui proses selama setahun untuk menjalankan penyelidikan saintifik dan menyempurnakan projek mereka seterusnya bertanding dalam pertandingan inovasi sains, teknologi dan kejuruteraan peringkat kebangsaan PISTEC, anjuran bahagian sukan, kokurikulum dan kesenian KPM yang diadakan pada Disember 2020. Kejayaan yang diperoleh di PISTEC 2020 telah melayakkan diri mereka untuk mewakili negara dalam Regeneran ISAF 2021. Majlis pengumuman pemenang telah diadakan secara maya pada 21 Mei 2021 jam 10 malam waktu Malaysia. Hello everyone. It is my pleasure to be back with you today for the virtual Regeneron ISEF Grand Award ceremony. The culmination of all the hard work you've done these last few weeks. Before we begin, I have something for each of you to think about. Whether your work is recognized with an award today or not, each and every finalist here has already won. Think about that for a moment. You have participated in the largest high school science competition in the world. So congratulations to each and every one of you, our ICEF finalists. We are here today to recognize the grand award winners of Virtual Regeneron ISEF 2021. Finalists are judged on their creative ability, scientific thought, as well as the thoroughness, skill, and clarity shown in their projects. Category awards are presented for 4th, 3rd, 2nd, and 1st place. The number of awards presented for each category is proportional to the number of projects entered. Team projects are judged and awarded within their scientific category, and the award is split equally among team members. The top awards will conclude today's program. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and finalists, the time has come. So, let's get started. Negara sangat berbangga dengan kejayaan yang diperolehi pelajar Malaysia dalam melaksanakan penyelidikan saintifik dan mencipta inovasi ini dalam penularan wabak COVID-19. Semangat mereka ini tidak menjadi penghalang bagi pasukan negara terus melakar kejayaan cemerlang di pentas global. I'm Tani Moli. I'm Mahisha. And I'm Abiram. We are from Slango, Malaysia, presenting our product, Flexure Goal. Flexure Goal is a herbal honey formulation aimed to relieve common respiratory-related diseases such as flu, cough, and so forth. It is 100% natural. We incorporated the benefits of honey, ginger, lemon, and Mexican mint into one powerful formulation that gives an enhanced flavor and benefit. Flexure Goal has been tested to asserting it doesn't contain any harmful microorganisms or heavy metals. The nutritional value was also evaluated. 
Furthermore, the tortocinolic compound and the antioxidant activity was analyzed. Apart from the test, a marketing test was carried out involving respondents from a different age group, gender, ethnicity. The aim of this survey is to find out the effectiveness of our product. After trying our product, 87% of the respondents have agreed that Lactagol is an effective remedy for flu, cough and suffering. Most importantly, no side effects were reported. The results also show that they are in favor of the taste and aroma of the product. Through the analysis and survey conducted, we can conclude that Lactagol is safe to be consumed as it contains no harmful microorganisms or heavy metals. It has been proven that Lactagol is effective in generating common respiratory-related diseases such as flu, cough, and sore throat. The high antioxidant activity and total phenolic compound content has proved that it can fight against free radicals that causes many diseases such as cancer and cardiovascular diseases. In a natural, Lactagol can be a safe and reliable alternative over the counter drugs that brings harmful side effects to us. Thank you. In the category of Engineering Mechanics, sponsored by Society for Science, the fourth place winners are Jennifer Liu, Kerem Behan, Matthias David Hefty, Nick Noor Faharahana Tenku Rosman, and Noor Hazwani Sahira Mood Nizam and Nurul Fayyad Ha, Ahmad Senuddin. Most anchors have horrible beam motorist mechanics. This situation can be dangerous to the road users. It can cause severely structural damage to your vehicle. To repair them, it needs a higher maintenance cost. This inspired us to develop a micro capsule that is made up of ferrum trioxide and also recycled oil, which is known as ferro capsule. This capsule will be added into the asphalt cell to heal the cracks. From the previous research, there are various inventions to solve this problem, such as a capsule from sunflower oil, steel fiber, and also bacteria. These are some of ferro oil capsules that we made in our project. We made the ferro oil capsule solution by using recycled cooking oil and ferric oxide. We use a verification technique to get the uniform size of the capsule. We mix the ferro oil capsule into the asphalt beams mixture to heal the crack because the bitumen has the capacity to flow and drain into the cracks by itself when the heating process occurs. We run a crack healing test to detect the effectiveness of the ferro oil capsule. We grab the sample so technically all the capsule inside it will be broken and will be able to help the beam to recover. We leave it for an hour for it to completely heal before we take out the sample out of the mold. The sample is heated up until the crack is rejuvenated. As you can see here, the asphalt beam crack have completely hit. With this idea, we expect to learn the first portfolio by the parties, the resident of maintenance and all the troubles that are properly, such as slow traffic and travel delay. Dede TV KPM Dede TV KPM in the category of Plant Sciences, sponsored by Society for Science, the fourth place winners are Aisha Mafuz, Bo Wai Lai, and Chun Kit Tan. Greetings, Greetings to all. all. I'm Chun Kit. And I'm Bo Wei. We are from Team GGCE Locus, Chongling High School, Georgetown, Penang, Malaysia. Locus. Have you seen one before? It's a type of grasshopper that forms swarm and damages the crops. So, how can we solve this? Simple, just use synthetic pesticides, right? However, much to our concern, it is expensive, harmful to the environment, and pests could develop resistance to it in the long term. That is why we propose to use garlic and ginger combined crude extract as a locust repellent. They are cheap, abundant, and widely cultivated. We call it GGC locusts. To repair GGCE, we skin the garlic and ginger. Blend them, 
soak in water, and finally, this solution is applied onto leaves which are fed to grasshoppers in a controlled environment. From this experiment, we found out that the weight of leaf eaten is significantly reduced when the concentration of GGC applied increases. Apart from that, we also take the cost of GGC into consideration. In our findings, we compare the cost of optimal application of GGCE with Fibonio, a commonly used synthetic pesticide, showing that GGCE can save up to a whooping 90% in terms of cost. As a conclusion, the GGCE dependency increases as the concentration increases. And it is cheap, eco-friendly, abundant, and effective. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations to all our fourth place winners. The awards continue with the announcement of our third place winners. Each project honored will receive an award of $1,000. In the category of Biomedical Engineering, sponsored by Johnson & Johnson, the third place winners are Shu Apijit Keshka, Rishabh Chen, San Sen Yong, and Sheng Jie Yu. I'm Long San Chen. Hi, I'm Yao Shen Zhen. We are from Petani Jaya, Jaya Selangor, Malaysia. Stroke was among the top ranked causes of adult disability globally. Stroke patients require early rehabilitation for better recovery. To tackle the problems faced by the stroke patients, we use neural network technology as a means to deliver proper care to such patients. We use vision sensing to fit the images into deep learning measure muscle strength and speech therapy pronunciation accuracy to evaluate post-stroke patient rehabilitation performance at home. There are three main components, which are kinesthetic augmented kinematic inference, also known as KAKI, muscle strength evaluator, and speech therapy. The KAKI evaluated hand gestures of participants by using augmented learning of 570 images. The probability of correctness of hand gestures were recorded. It was able to differentiate the accuracy of the participants with medical hand condition and finger gesture which correlated with medical observation. Muscle Strength Evaluator measured the strength of the left and right hand of the patients. Data was collected and analyzed for comparison to a normal patient of the similar attributes with variation of medical history, gender and age. Participants would speak to assess the correctness of pronunciation using artificial intelligence. Poor pronunciations were identified with high probability against the correct voice they had. Our project showed that vision sensing can be used to identify the finger gesture performance, evaluate the functional recovery state of the muscle, and identify speech pronunciation using artificial intelligence. This low-cost solution is able to bridge the technology gap in stroke patient rehabilitation at home. Thank you. Antung, Dan Cancer. Aktiviti fizikal boleh dilakukan di mana-mana sahaja. Di rumah, di sekolah dan di pejabat. Untuk kekal aktif, boleh dilakukan pada bila-bila masa. Di waktu pagi, tengah hari, petang dan malam. Mudah saja. Boleh berjalan kaki, berzumba, mengemas rumah, menaiki tangga dan aktiviti fizikal lain yang bersesuaian. Cari masa untuk aktif. Jom berjalan kaki 10,000 langkah. Setiap langkah membawa faedah. Lakukan aktiviti fizikal selama 150 minit seminggu. Aktif sehat. Sukan Sekolah Malaysia MSSM 2022 bermula 17 September hingga 20 September ini jam 7.30 hingga 8.30 malam hanya di Didik TV KPM. Hai adik-adik, nak tingkatkan penguasaan dalam pembelajaran? Didik TV kan ada? Dapatkan info terkini tentang dunia pelajaran di media sosial Didik TV seperti Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok dan Telegram 
Untuk video penuh, anda boleh layari YouTube Bilik TV dan juga laman web Tonton. Selamat belajar! In a category of microbiology, sponsored by Regeneron, the third place winners are Dekshisha Sevashri Ya Sanka, Eugene Lim and Daniel Yi Henglong. Hi everyone, I'm Eugene Lim. And I'm Daniel Yi Henglong. We are from Chongling High School, Georgetown, Penang, Malaysia. And the title of the project is Expect, which is about titanium dioxide enhanced chitin and chitosan and rich extract that issue from the waste of shrimp shell and potato peel as an eco friendly and effective antibacterial agent. Out of the 45% of the food waste is tuber waste, and another 35% of the food waste is seafood waste. The food waste costs a total of $2.6 trillion annually. Therefore, a proper research to turn food waste into value added resources is needed. The grider shrimp shell and potato peel goes through demineralization and deprotonation processes to obtain chitin. The chitin of potato peel further goes through the acetylation process to obtain chitosan. The extracted chitin and chitosan is then split into 5 samples with different ratio. Titanium dioxide is added into each sample with the ratio of 1 to 1. After that, an antibacterial test is conducted by civil dilution of the samples against bacterial suspension. The mixture is then spread on the agar plates, left for 24 hours, and calculate the numbers of colonies found on each plate. The result shows that sample S1P1 shows the least number of colonies on both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria without the presence of titanium dioxide. However, after adding titanium dioxide, sample P100 shows the least number of colonies on both bacterial strains. It is believed that the mixture of titanium and chitosan makes the bacteria flocculate and thus killing it resembly through lack of nutrients and oxygen. At the same time, when the mixture is added with titanium dioxide, it shows a synergistic effect exerted between components from P100 and titanium dioxide which effectively enhance the antibacterial activity of chitin and chitosan. Therefore, our hypothesis is accepted. When the chitin extracted from the waste of shrimp shell and chitosan extracted from the waste of potato peels reach the optimum ratio of 1 to 1, the effectiveness of antibacterial properties will be the maximum and with the presence of titanium dioxide, it will further improve the efficiency of the antibacterial agent. That's, That's all, all for our sharing. sharing. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations to all our third place winners. Second place award announcements are next. Each winning project will receive an award of $2,000. In the category of chemistry, sponsored by Society for Science, the second place winners are Yu She Chu. A very good morning to everyone. My name is Chu Yizhe and I'm from Chongling High School in Malaysia. My project title is Tech Up Anera Magic Cream. My research is to come up with a cream that uses meat and cloth to kill Tech Up Anera Rufonigra ants, which is commonly known as the bi-colored Agora ant. Its sting could cause severe allergic reaction in humans and in some cases it could be fatal. Tech Up Rufonigra poses a threat to humans because it is highly aggressive and it is commonly found in urban areas. The cream that I have developed consists of neem oil, neem powder, clove powder, water, and finally cream base. After carrying out data analysis and plotting graphs, the results show that the higher the concentration of neem content, the higher the mortality rate of the workers. Another conclusion I could come up with is the presence of both neem and clove is crucial in causing mortality against the ants. My natural insecticide cream with the optimal level of neem and clove has successfully caused 100% mortality rate in 10 workers in 10 hours. Although it is not as fast as the Itofen Prox Sparkle and Powder, which caused 100% mortality in just 3 to 4 hours, my cream is natural and it does not cause severe health effects when ingested. Neem oil has been certified by the Environmental Protection Agency of the United States that it has no toxicity to humans and it is not a mutagen. It also improves earthworm activity and it does not harm your soil. In the future, I hope that my cream will be used in exterminating other dangerous ant species such as fire ants or carpenter ants. I hope that my research and invention of this natural, eco-friendly and safe insecticide cream from meat and cloth will eradicate the effects of this ant, moreover reducing the usage of synthetic insecticides in the future. 
Thank you and have a nice day. Setiap kejayaan pasti ada tulang belakang yang sentiasa menyokong dan memberi kata-kata semangat. Tenaga pengajar yang bersama-sama membantu pelajarnya dalam mencapai kejayaan di ISEF 2021 amat berbangga dengan kejayaan anak didik mereka. Dalam usia yang muda, anak-anak ini berjaya menjadi tonggak harapan negara dan secara tidak langsung menjulang nama negara di pentas dunia. I would be super happy and excited to be to represent my fan to receive the award. I was surprised and thrilled when we were announced as one of the award winners of the competition. I also felt blessed as we were competing with so many other finalists from all over the world in this competition. I was inspired by my senior who got to join an innovation competition at the international level and I hope our product will be benefits to others and our community. I would say our team was very lucky as we were well supported by the school, teachers, our parents and most importantly our mentor Mr. Yong. And of course, I learned a lot from my teammate Sanchen as well. I have always been inspired by scientists who managed to change the life of the human race with their innovative ideas and research findings. IFDF has helped to open my eyes and also learned a lot about scientific research. I suggest that you continue to work as hard as you can while ignoring the rhetoric of most discoveries. Five supportive people who will assist you in completing the dream. Keep yourself optimistic, be happy and happy. Don't be afraid to stretch your imagination. Be bold to learn and try out new ideas. I would like to thank the teachers, the mentors, my parents, even the Ministry of Education and even my school for their support and dedication to help us to go to the ISEF competition and give us this amazing opportunity. KPI